Hey guys, this is Mako One here for a new video. Um, so yeah, at the moment, the last video I uploaded, I got 99 strength, as you can see there. So I am 99 strength, attack, uh, well, strength, attack, constitution, defense, cooking. I mean, cooking and fire making. So what you've also noticed is, hang on, I just need to. Uh, Give my friend lend uh, specify duration or accept. Accept. So yeah, if you were if you come in my clan chat and talk to me a lot. I do things like this for people. Uh, yeah, I just I just like to be nice to my friends on RuneScape because they're pretty cool. My clan chat at the moment is really quite busy, uh, but a lot of the people I'm trying to add and keep a hold of that because basically my friends list is completely full. If we look at it here, look at all the people that are online. And the thing is, I don't know which people are in my clan chat and which people aren't because people come in and out of it all the time. So I can't remember people's names, plus they change the names, which I, I'm not going to have a go at you if you do change name, but can you please not do it? It's like, well, no, I can't really ask that, but just personally, I prefer if people don't, because I find it really hard to remember who people are. Like, someone will be talking to me, and I'll be talking to them like they're a new person, and then they're like, oh, yeah, I used to be called such and such. I'm like, what the fuck? I've known you for ages. Why? Like, it's just really annoying. So I don't really like that, but at the moment, if you come in my clan chat, well, if you come in, I'll add you most of the time so then I can rank you and get rid of this man face because it looks newbie and I'll put you on this rank, the first rank. But if you don't come in and you're on my friends list and you're online and I don't talk to you, most probably I'll just delete you. Which So if anyone like feels like they're being demoted or something when they come back in the clan chat, uh, just just tell me and I'll add you again and put you what rank you were. But obviously if you're online but you're not in my clan chat then there's not really much point in me having you ranked and everything on the clan chat because you're not on it. But I don't do it like straight away but just if I notice that you've not really been in it because I do try and talk to the people. Some people do just come in here and they are just completely silent. I don't really understand why they're in here but... But yeah, I love it when people come in the clan chat so don't stop coming in. Uh, how many points do you get per Slayer task? I get at the mo 18 but if it's like special number so every 50 or 10 I think or 100 you get more uh, so yeah I want to give a shout out to everyone in my clan chat so baby girl, clunge patrol, Connor the kid, cool dude 5597, fallen genius, goku 1497, mash the gash, monster duels, what the shiz you bang wrens. so yeah uh, but yeah at the moment I'm pre I'm doing prayer I am now 68 prayer and I've got the bones I'll show you here I've got, I have actually got the bones to get to 70 then there so I had to, I've got I was 56 prayer when I started it's amazing XP it's honestly it's stupid I went from 56 to 60 some 66 wait was it 56 to 65 in like one evening? Not even playing that much because I did two essays that night and some people were like talking to me on Skype like, why are you on Skype but not RuneScape? And I was like, because I do have a life apart from RuneScape. I have other stuff to do. So I was, I was doing a lot of essays, essays. But yeah, I've still got my effigy that I never used in the end for strength when I was getting close. I just, just, well, it's because I got Haiti gloves so I didn't really need it. But I don't know what I'll put that on. But basically, yeah, my cash stack suffered a little bit. It went from 32 to 26 mil. It cost me from 56 to what level I am now. 50, well, from 56 to what I will get, which is 70, it cost me 5 mil. Because I had 5 mil worth of bones already in my bank from Slayer. But if I'd have had to buy those bones as well, it would be in 10 mil. Because I, I had 1k in my bag already. And then I had... 1k that I've just bought, which has got me to the level that I need to be. It's quite expensive though, to be honest. F that's a lot. 10 mil. That's not even a high level. But it's got to be done just because 
I understand when some people do put like quite annoying comments like such a newbie account and stuff like that. It annoys me sometimes, but then sometimes I do kind of just take it in and just think, to be honest, mate, I am kind of a high level now in combat and stuff, and my other stuff should sort of reflect it. So I am going to start getting everything else up because I understand what you mean. I, I should really. Like mage, mining, smithing, agility, herbal, all those kind of things, farming. Uh, const construction, dungeoneering, all those things you need to get, be getting up. But at the moment, I'm just doing one thing at a time, which is prayer. So I'll get this to 70, and then straight after that, I don't know, because if I pause the video now, I'm going to try and redimension it and show you, basically, on my channel. Well, no, I won't do that. But basically, you know, no, I will, I will. I'm going to pause the video and show you the votes at the moment, because I told you all to vote, basically what you want me to train next out of any skills apart from don't say anything like um, obviously prayer or herbal because they're ridiculously expensive something that I'm going to be able to actually train so do you, uh, what's all this stuff I'm at? Macro, I can't be bothered to read all that at the moment I'm trying to video but uh, sorry guys uh, yeah basically you can vote so just type in on any of my videos because I see comments and I get an email from it anyway on my YouTube account email telling me. So I've got to check through all of those so I actually won't pause it because I've just remembered I'll probably have got more now. So that'll be wrong statistics. But it, the last time I checked, Fletching was winning. So if you guys now like don't want me to do Fletching, then vote for the skill that you want to see me get 99 next. Because at the moment, Fletching's winning by one vote. The one below that I believe was Magic. So I was either going to be doing a lot of mage or a lot of fletching. And I don't really want to do fletching that much because it's a newbie 99. And I've got another two of those, so whatever. Vote for what you want to see. Chuffing freezing in my house right now. If you could hear anyone talking in the background, it's my granddad and my dad's trying to fix the heating. Because some idiot plumber came ages ago when we first got the house. And basically, the pipes... Uh, are too thin or something, not enough water goes through them, so basically the radiators don't get hot. Fucking freezing. It's England and it's like fucking January. Today is January the 28th, so it's coming up. It's like a, what is it, like a week or so, something like that, well, less than a week till we get the uh, the free trade and the old Willy back, which I know a lot of you are going to be really excited about. Obviously, me not so much. <laughs> Because, um, it's just, it's going to be different, it's going to be different. I don't think, I don't know, I mean, I've speculated it's going to be horrible, but I can't say that, I don't know for sure it's going to be, I just, you know, in my opinion, I, I don't see the G working very well with that system. But, well, one thing might come good of it, I might start PKing. But, you know, everyone, yeah, that's what I don't get. Everyone's like, yeah, the, the new PKing system will be so much better, because... Because like you can get drops that they're actually, um, that they're actually they have on them, which will be worth more. And my thinking behind this is no, it won't. Because think about it, if it goes back to the old system, won't everyone just be going in? Say if you keep three items, if you're not scold like it used to be. I, I, like for example, I could go in with tassets, chest, and DFS, right, and maybe risk a D skimmy. I could go in with all that stuff. Not if I don't attack anyone first, and I get, and so I don't get scold. I'd keep those three things. So really, you're gonna all you're gonna get is a dragon skimmy drop. That's it, right? Whereas now you could, they could do the same, and you could get because not many people risk. Is my point that I'm making now and in the future, not many people will risk. So you you'll basically you'll be. You'll be making less because at the moment you get those, like, what are they called? Like, I don't know, I don't PK. Like, I know you get the little things on the floor. I've done it once and I got a mill. I exchanged this rock or whatever it was for like a mill. But, I mean, that's worth more. So I don't see how the people are thinking that everyone's going to be. It's like everyone's. It's as if everyone's thinking that people are going to be running into the wilderness with fucking armadillo. It's not going to happen. People aren't going to be risking that much all the time. So I, I don't see why people are saying how much more money it's going to make you. It's not really going to make you that much more money. It's just the fact that if they do happen to be wearing that, yeah, you'll get the job. If that item is kept under another item. So if another item. Because 
Like, things are ranked really weirdly in this game. For example, you keep a Dragon Battle Axe over a whip. However, a Dragon Battle Axe is like 100 and something K, and a whip's like 3 mil. Makes no sense, but that is how it's ranked. So, you're gonna have to, that's something you're gonna have to check. Don't just assume when the wilderness comes back that an item is kept over another one. Don't just like assume that certain things are, because they might not be. Always click this and check what you keep. You gotta keep, you gotta check that, because otherwise, you know, you could lose something really good and you don't want that to happen. So, yeah, at the moment, I'm just burying dragon bones on a gilded altar. That's why I'm in, just in a party room, uh, party world, house party world. Uh, not wearing anything, just for a bit of lightness. And yeah, just trying to get this last bit of prayer done. Don't really know where I go from there. There's a couple of things I want to do. I want to get my agility up so that I can... Because if I do get range, which I want to get up eventually, I might do it on blue dragons. So I was just thinking, if I got my rain, uh, my agility up, I could use the Tavoli shortcut to get to them. Like where the second you climb down, you can crawl through the tunnel. And that, I think that's like 70 something. I don't really know how bad agility is. I haven't trained it since like years it's been years since i've done agility but i can remember it being really quite annoying because it was just a lot and a lot of clicking but nightmare age is doing it so if he can do it i can do it in fact no because he's got like major persist no nah, i can do it i got 995 making i have persistence that was that was worse he, like he thought he thought that uh, thieving was bad no it's not thieving's nowhere near as bad as fire making right thieving at least you get amazing XP an hour, right? It's over two weeks. Fire making took me fucking months because I did it with willows to start off with and then maples. You have any idea how long that took? That took forever. That's like, it was like 158k or something of willows I had to burn and, and then I got rid of some of them, but I, I did a lot of willows. It was weeks and weeks. I would do, I remember like trying to do like two, three K logs a night and it's not like, I think now you can do left, uh, you can click all, like do burn all, and it'll just do them for you. When I did it, no. You had to click individual, log, fire maker, then wait, and log, fire maker. It took the piss. So, like when people are leaving comments like, you need to get a real 99. That was a real 99. Fair enough, wasn't expensive, you know, and it's not the best 99, but that is a, no, a hard 99 to get. I don't, all 99s in my opinion are hard, and people that say they're pointless, they're not, like certain ones, they are all good in their own ways, they've all taken, someone is still sat there and got 13 mil XP, so there's no such thing as a, like, even Fletcher and I take the piss out of it, it still is a 99, because I, otherwise I'd have done it by now, it still will take me a while to do, so I'm putting it off, but I would, yeah, I do want to put it off there, I want to do something better, but yeah, agility is something I want to do, uh, mining, I don't know, because last time I looked into mining, I know I needed a bunny hip. I can remember because I wanted to do granite, because I didn't want to do iron, because it's shy and it takes ages. So I wanted to do granite, but I think I needed a bunny hip. And I wasn't 68 something, so I didn't do it at the time. But I suppose I could do that now. Smithing, I think that'd be better to do after mining. Because if I go to Living Rock Caverns, like Nightmare, and get gold, I could do it that way. And I don't really know how expensive it is, so I don't really want to blow a shite load of money. But her blow, I do want to get up, but not as a 99 because that's ridiculous because I don't have 400 mil in my bank. Um, like I said, range probably after agility. But you can vote me if you really want me to do agility. Uh, I mean, range, vote range. Uh, mage. I can see the advantages of getting it up, but the advantages would be I'd need to do quests because that's not, which isn't an advantage. Because if I get it up, you're only going to want to get it up to do barraging. And to do barraging, I'd need to do desert treasure and I haven't done desert treasure so I would have to do that and that would be annoying I've looked into it to do certain things and I've not done loads of quests it would be a piss take and I'm really crap at them like honestly I don't know why I'm just retarded I cannot follow simple instructions and I just hate it it's just running around the game and I'll just talk to someone and it's fucking annoying and you have to pick certain questions certain answers it's like Fuck off, mate. I'm like, oh. If it was real life, I'd just walk up to the first person with a fucking whip and just be like, listen, pal, give me the fucking end of this quest thing, right? There's that sheet of paper so I can have fucking done with this, right? I'm going to chop your bollocks off with a DDS, right? That's how it's going to go down, matey, right? That's how it would go down. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. Room crafting. If you want to be that harsh to me, by all means, make me lose my mind. Right? I think it'd be funny. I honestly think it would be a funny thing. So, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't mind it. I think it'd be so shit, it'd end up being good. You know what I mean? It'd be that bad, it'd be awesome. 
So it's one of them the kind of things I'll probably end up loving it after a while. Uh, construction again, expensive guy. That's going to blow a lot of my money. But if you want me to do it, go for it. I can always save, Abbey Demon, something like that. Dungeoneering, yeah, if you want me to do that, go for it. I'd have to work out how to play it first. Uh, but that'd be cool because a lot of people in my clan chat could come and play it with me, which would be awesome. And we can, I'll get Skype again. We can talk over that, which would be awesome. So that'd be quite a good one to do, to be honest. Bit of, bit of dungeoneering, but I, I was, I have no idea how to play it. Like, not even looked at videos on it. So I would be really appalling. So you'd have to bear that in mind. If I like lost us loads of matches, I would be sorry, but I, nothing I can do because I've never played it. I don't know how you do it. I don't even know what dungeoneering is. I just know something to do with rooms and floors or something. Hunter, I, I got it to 86, so I don't really think I need to do that anymore because I got red chins. But if you wanted me to fucking stand there and get 30k chins, by all means. But it's a horrible skill. It's a lot of clicking. You've got to click box, pick up the chin, then set down the box again. It's awful. And there's loads of people camp there. Botters galore are there. Fucking over the top. Slayer, yeah, I'd be happy with that if you made me do Slayer. I wouldn't mind. Uh, farming, can't really because it's sub skill. I could. Like get it up, which I am gonna do anyway, after I've done prayer. I'm gonna go and harvest my thing, carry on doing toad flax if anyone wants to know what I do. Uh and yeah, crafting, I suppose if you want me to do that, it cost me a lot, but I could do it. Thieving, don't wanna do it really, but if you wanna, whatever. Same with fishing. So it's up to you. You've got the power, vote on my channel, homepage, right if you want to, on my actual page, or vote on any video because I'll get an email from it and I'll read them all. So do that, and I will tally them up. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I wanted to upload a bank vid. I did it after I did my combat. I did actually do it, but I don't upload it now because if I upload it, it's out of date. So I'll have to redo it. This video is really long now, so I don't know. I'm going to end the video now. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, thumbs up, subscribe. See you guys.